Okay, so, um, yeah, I was going to do a video about what I saw on the local news this morning about the story with the two middle schoolers, 12-year-olds, you know, they kissed, but, you know, the principal or something, I guess, wants to consider it a sex crime. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further into that. It's, it's stupid. No, instead, um, I just I think what I want to talk about is how, yeah, I've got a cough drop in my mouth. I want to, I just want to elaborate on, you know, how I am in the workplace you know, everything starts out great, you know, I'm, I'm gung-ho, I'm professional, I'm this, I'm that. And then I start to get bored with the job, so to compensate, I develop an ego, and I start getting lazier. And um, then my level of professionalism goes down. But... The one thing I can say that has changed is, you know, how I've, I've matured, so I'm not a complete asshole, so I can maintain a sense of maturity, but at the same time, still feel carefree. And, but you know, sometimes, like I said, my, it's my ego and it gets in the way. It can get in the way because, you know, especially now at my current job, because I've actually moved up for the first time ever in any job, I feel like I'm entitled to certain things when I know I'm not. Like I'm entitled to special privileges what those are, I can't clearly define, but, yeah, you know, it's like, I guess I still feel that I'm entitled and I complain when things don't go my way, yeah, at 27, I still complain about work, but you know, I have all these things I have to pay for, so I need my job, regardless, you know, if it is a monotonous part-time job I still need it you know for money and um, I'm not. and absolutely is not that I don't want to do the work it's that I just wish there were ways that I could make it easier for myself to get the job done. I keep looking, I keep trying, but any ideas I come up with are immediately quelled by supervisors or, you know, other co-workers, other regular co-workers. It's when I happen to think I have good ideas. And, I don't know, I, I guess... My antisocial behavior comes into play because oftentimes I'll split off from the rest of my group and uh, work in another department, like dispersing the, the items that I've unloaded from the truck. You know, the other three could be gathered in one particular area, whereas I'm off somewhere else. But I mean, <laughs> if you want us to get done at a decent time, you know, sometimes splitting off is necessary. So, you know, that's just how things up, end up. I mean, I don't do it because I don't want to be around the other guys. I do it, you know, to keep a steady pace to um, 
to ensure a timely completion of tasks. That's all. I mean, yeah. It, all I'm saying is, there are bad habits I need to get rid of at work, but it's going to take time for me to get rid of those bad habits. It doesn't just happen overnight. You know. But at least I don't get chastised on a constant basis anymore because of said habits. They just kind of leave me alone to manage things my own way when it comes to my behavior and my work ethic. They should be grateful that I show up for every shift. And I think I have so far. So, you know, that's all I really need to say. And if you think that this video is going nowhere, has no point, then please fornicate yourself. Because the point is, I am who I am, whether at work or at home. I'm me. Don't like it? <laughs> Go work somewhere else.